Hello, I'm Elsirwin, and welcome back to Unheard. Metaphysical, my ass! It's a scam, pure and simple. And you can't bullshit a bullshitter. I am unscammable! Oh, shut up. I need to think. Think it never did you any good. Metaphysical. Ha! <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna hit the hay. Okay. Then, like... Are both of you patients here? Yes. Speak for yourself. I ain't no lunatic. But you are! I told you I ain't! What's going on here? Are you okay? It was my older brother. He has mental problems. What? Shut up! I'm as sane as ever! You're the crazy one! I'm crazy? Uh, sorry, officer. I was talking to my brother. All right, then. Ma'am, mind if I ask what you're in here for? Wait a fucking minute, is that the brother from the first case? <laughs> Dude, did they break him? I'm a reporter. Before you got sick, you mean. I actually did want to know what it was that got you committed. Are you a police officer? Yeah. Then, will you believe the things I'm about to tell you? Depends. Let me hear them first. I'm a reporter. A few months ago, I received a tip saying this hospital was conducting some kind of clandestine experiments on its patients. I disguised yep. myself Outcast. and checked in to investigate. I've collected all the information I need, but now I can't prove I wasn't sick in the first place, or that I've recovered. So I'm stuck here with no way to publish my findings. What exactly have you found? Here, they use a treatment method on their patients called TAT, Thematic Apperception Test. But it's not the TAT most people know today. Hmm. Rather, they use the prototype used back during World War II. Really? Basically, it brainwashes people. After the test, patients' memories will be completely erased, and they're conditioned as well. They're programmed to respond to certain sounds, after which they'll follow any command. The hospital then goes on to claim they've been cured, but the truth is, they're nothing more than soulless robots. Tell me, officer, if you were a patient, would you want to be cured that way? You've absolutely got to get me out of here. I have to expose them. Check my notes. I've got all the evidence right here. I gotta say, that sounds more like a sci-fi flick than reality. Eh. All right, let me see your notes. Wow, don't skimp on details, do ya? Let me ask you something else. You ever notice any patients in here who seem like they don't belong? Like they're faking their illness? Yeah, me. <laughs> and besides you? Honestly? From what I've seen, at least 44% of the patients here are actually sane, but they've been committed regardless. Makes me think this hospital's next step is to experiment on normal people. Okay, so Mastro is probably one of the others. Where are you? Mastro. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, so... That's quite the theory. What about him, huh? Seems pretty legit. Schizophrenia, maybe. He's sick, but it's not schizophrenia. You made a mistake any layman would make. What he has is called dissociative identity disorder. That's where you have multiple personalities. In his case, two. Huge difference between that and schizophrenia. Hmm. <laughs> I see. That I'll have to remember. Wait just a second. Aren't you getting me out of here? Afraid I can't. At least, not yet. I'll come back once our investigation wraps up. You don't believe me either, do you? Nope! <laughs> Why you even bother, Nelly? Journalists are the watchdogs of society. Or haven't you heard? Yeah, and what good did any of that do you, huh? The mm. cops didn't even believe you. <laughs> I like the story. <laughs> You've heard about the Unabomber, correct? Huh? Who do you think I am? Of course I heard of them. Mm -hmm. Henry Murray, the inventor of TAT, used his test to evaluate soldiers during World War II. During the Cold War, he used it to interrogate spies. How? But did you know that he also gave it to innocent students back in 1959? Oh yeah? What's all that got to do with the Unabomber? Are you kidding me? The well, fuck's the Unabomber? Well, it happens that a certain 17-year-old boy, Ted Kaczynski, was one of his unwitting test subjects. And, well, you know the rest. Over a period of 18 years, he ended up making and sending at least 16 bombs. 
What I'm trying to say is, destroying someone mentally can have repercussions far beyond one person. Well, I'll be damned. Hmm. Then that Henry Murray fellow's got blood on his hands, too. I don't know if I'd go that far. Science and all the experiments that go along with it are... Well, they're not wrong. It's just that sometimes people can get in so deep that they lose track of the boundaries of morality. I have nothing against the doctors here. Really. I simply want to get the truth out. Yeah, then you're... I hope that people can learn to respect humanity while still pursuing science. <laughs> you move me. A reporter with a heart of gold. <laughs> you yeah. know, if Mr. Director had his say, he'd just... Shut up! He told you not to tell anyone! All right, all right, all right. My lips are sealed. The fu... Oh, that's Ray, brother, right? You're Ray? Are you knocking on the wall? Oh my fuck. Okay. <laughs> Up your meds. <laughs> I'll go check. Wait, what? Coming from next door. All of you are hearing things. Need so you're the one knocking on the door, right? Who the fuck's knocking on the wall? The one's moving. So Spoon's just kind of doing his own thing. Okay, so who is Ghost? Who's that knocking? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ray, what are you doing here? So who who's Ghost? I'll explain everything later. Quick, untie me. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. Then you can get me out of here. Well, I I'll do my best, but, but remember, I'm just a caregiver. The doctors are the ones who have the final say. Oh, speaking of doctors, Jennifer's in the room next door. Oh, you're right. You save her too. Dr. Jennifer? <laughs> Doctor? Doctor, wake up! Where am I? What happened? Someone apparently knocked you out. Got some blood on you there. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Why the fuck do you think you're in the bathroom? Wait, you went out cold, Ray. What happened? Huh? huh? Hey, what are you- uh, Ray! What the fuck? You killed her! She'll be fine. What? Anyway, better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. Turns out 68 broke the window and took off. By the time I came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this cracked ashtray next to you, too. What? This got me all in a panic. So I didn't notice that the gate to the inpatient sector wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They they charged me, tied me up, and threw me in the bathroom. Then, then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Jesus Christ. Then Nellie was in on this, too? What? She doesn't really strike me as the violent type. She wasn't! I don't know about that. But I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? But what is it they're trying to do? Take over? And why didn't you call the police when you had the chance? Everything happened so fast. What? One second, I was trying to figure out what happened to you. The next, those psychos jumped me. Huh? Where's my phone? Don't tell me they took it. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. God damn it, it's gone! What? <sighs> Not my phone, something else. Uh, uh, you know, caregivers aren't allowed to bring phones inside the hospital. You know, that's the rule here. Really? That's stupid. What do we do now then? We can't even call the police. <coughs> How many people did you see in here earlier? Don't tell me everyone is in on this. Uh, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, Oscar, oh right, and Mr. Director. I'm telling you, it was chaos. There might have been more of them. I don't know. 
and all of them working together? They're not even suffering from the same illness. Hmm. This is certainly a first. What do you think they're trying to do? Escape? Uh, they, they took the keys, but as far as I know, they haven't left. All I could tell was that Mr. Director seemed to be the ringleader. Something really? about manipulation and brainwash. Then it's a coup? A coup? Yeah, they want to take over the hospital. That's why they didn't escape. You haven't seen George, have you? No. Nope. Maybe he's still in the treatment room? Is that an alarm? Uh, probably what? somebody's alarm clock. I wouldn't worry about That's it. when they opened the box. Then what do we do? It's only a matter of time before they find us here. Honestly, I think the two of us could hold them off. No, you can't. But he's basically a stick. Oscar's a wuss. Silver Spoon's lucky if he isn't fighting himself. And Mr. Director, he's an old man. Really? The only reason they got the jump on me last time was because they, they caught me off guard. But you and I will have the element of surprise next time. Oh, I don't I think so in a few... into the director's office and use the landline to call... What the fuck are Get you... Get back to the... Br hey, Emily, you gotta turn that thing on before you can watch it. <laughs> There's this thing called a, a remote, it, Emily. No, you do this to me! They hit the bomb in the TV! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay! Son of a bitch! Okay, so, there's a bomb in the TV. Okay, so... Who are the real mental- Oh, wait, no, no, Mas Mastro's not one of them. No, sorry, sorry, so... Spoon and Emily. Maybe James. Uh, Mr. Director, probably. Uh... That's all I'm willing to say. Now I just need to figure out who the hell is Ghost. Like and subscribe! <laughs>